Use this video to help you follow the book instructions for this assignment. You will be submitting both the completed structural and architectural Revit files. Open the sample project file 007-1-structure. Switch to the Insert tab and select Link Revit. Navigate to the file C07-2-architecture, highlight the file, and make sure at the bottom the positioning is Auto Center to Center, and then pick Open. Activate the South Elevation and use the Align tool to bring the linked models level 1 in line with the level 1 of the host model. In the Modify tab, we'll pick Align, select Level 1 in the Host file, select Level 1 in the Linked file. Notice that Level 1 is still 75 feet 6 inches in the Linked file and 0 in the Host file. Go to the Manage tab and in the Project Location panel, select Coordinates and then Acquire Coordinates. Pick the linked model and see that level 1 now is the same in the linked file and the host file. Save this file. We'll go to the level 1 view and type VG for visibility graphics. Go to the Revit Links tab. Then pick By Host View under display settings so that we can change the settings for that linked file. Select custom, go to the model categories and change the model category to custom and clear the check marks for casework, furniture, and furniture systems. Pick OK and OK again to see the furniture and the furniture systems display turn off. On page 211, we're going back to the visibility graphics dialog box, typing in VG. We'll go to the Revit Links tab and click on the custom button. Under linked views, we'll change none to floor plan level 1-A- anno for annotation. Pick OK and OK again and see that the annotation tags will appear in this host structural file from the architectural linked file. On page 214 we'll go to the collaborate tab and pick copy monitor and select link. Then rest your pointer close to one of the column bubbles and you'll see the box that represents the linked model. Select that linked model and in the copy monitor ribbon pick options so that we can copy elements from the linked file to the hosted file and monitor those changes in the file. In the levels tab we're only going to have the one quarter inch head top of steel head showing or copied so we can select under no head top of steel head we can pick don't copy this type for the second row under offset we're going to make the offset a minus six inches so that a new level is created that's six inches from the host level. And the prefix, which are characters before the level name, will be TOS for top of steel. Now select the grids tab and change the second and third lines to don't copy this type so that we'll only copy 
the quarter inch bubble. We'll go to the floors tab and the only line that we want to copy is the second one, the arc slab six inches. So we'll pick for each one of these, don't copy this type. All of the new type column will say don't copy this type except for the arc 6 inch and we're going to change the generic 12 inch to the lightweight concrete on metal deck. LW concrete on metal deck and at the bottom make sure that there's a check mark under copy openings and inserts. We'll pick OK, go to the self view and select in the copy monitor tab under tools select copy select level 2 and notice that another level is created the level head circle is changed or renamed which is okay we'll go ahead and close out of this warning box and then select the roof level and you'll see that two new levels were created as a copy from the linked file. Select the monitor button and select level 1 in the host model and then level 1 in the linked model so that we can monitor its relationship. We're going to bypass numbers 11 and 12 and go to number 13 activate the level 1 floor plan and pick copy and put a check mark in front of multiple select all of the visible grids hold your control key down to select them in both directions pick the finish button in the options bar not the green check mark but the finish button Select the finish button next to multiple, not the green check mark. And notice that all of the grids have a small symbol that illustrates the monitoring between the host file and the linked file. Clicking in the project file, we can then pick finish. We're going to save this structural file and then close out of it and open the architectural file C07-2-architecture. We'll use the same procedures to link the structural file to this file. By going to the Insert tab and picking Link Revit, before you double click on the structure file, down at the bottom, change the positioning from auto center center to auto by shared coordinates and then pick open. In the collaborate tab, we'll go to copy monitor and select link and now you're selecting the structural link that's link to this architectural Revit file. We can then pick copy and then put a check mark in multiple and select all of the column grids holding your control key down. You can select them in both directions and then pick finish next to multiple not the finish green check mark and then pick the green check mark finish. Now both files are linked with each other. If in this file I select this column grid D and I change the dimension here from 15 feet to 10 feet, I will get a warning called coordination monitor alert and it says grid moved. If I ignore that warning and go to the coordination review in the collaborate tab and pick select link. When I select the link 
a dialog box will show me the unresolved change is the grids and that the grid has been moved. There's an action to postpone that update or reject or accept the difference or modify the grid. We're going to leave this interference so we'll postpone the action and cancel out of this dialog box. Save this file. Close out of the file and go back to the structural file. The dialog box when we open the structural file will say that the instance of the linked file needs coordination review.